I was in a call with one of my Patreon supporters and she asked me how I deal with haters and at first I don't know exactly how to answer her because I don't think I have haters. I mean, sure I get hate comments every now and then but who doesn't, you know, it's 2018. And then she showed me the profile on Twitter of someone who has extensively hated on me since last year. I had blocked them then and then I look at his tweets now he's still going off on me and my girlfriend. And some of his tweets were actually being liked, retweeted, and quote tweeted by Dasha herself. Not only that, but I also noticed that he was tweeting about posting in an anonymous message board that collects gossip on internet drama. More specifically, the drama that I was a part of last year, he was posting on it and he was admitting to it. So I was very confused because the drama's been over. So I'm wondering what these people could possibly be talking about. And curiosity got the best of me and I clicked on the thread. Of course, most of it is just nitpicking and insulting on all parties involved in the drama. So me, Sierra, Dasha, and Mina. But as I was scrolling, I noticed something that shocked and confused me. It was a picture of Mina's passport. I'm thinking, what the hell? Why is this on here and how is this even allowed? I didn't know how to tell Mina because these threads that like gossip and insult us in every way possible just like causes a lot of stress and anxiety, you know, but like this is something serious. This is something so personal, her passport. So I asked her, like, how would someone have this picture of her? And she told me that's the exact picture she sent Dasha before Dasha made Seer buy her a flight to LA. So this means that either Dasha posted the picture or she gave the picture to someone else to post, which neither option is good. Why are you giving someone a picture that is so personal and private? Or why are you posting it yourself? I emailed the website's administrator and they agreed to take down the picture, but as I kept scrolling through the thread, I noticed that there was a lot more posts that sounded a lot like Dasha and kept posting really private pictures of Mina. A couple weeks go by and the website's administrator is able to identify Dasha for posting 142 posts on the thread all defending herself in third person and talking about herself and, and insulting me and insulting Mina most of all. If you're new to the channel, you probably have a lot to catch up on, but if you've been following me for the last couple of years, you're probably wondering how could she still be going on? And trust me, I'm wondering the same thing. And I would not be making this video if I didn't find the things she's been doing and saying so ludicrous. First off, she started a conversation asking if anyone knew Mina's real name. And by the way, the administrators of the website added a little signature to every single one of her posts. And the signature is a caricature of Dasha and how they imagine her posting on the thread. Dasha then responds to herself, saying she saw a picture of Mina's passport a while ago, saying her name was something foreign. She's having a conversation with herself. She then proceeds to ask herself if she knows the origin of Mina's last name. Lastly, she answers her original post, I'm assuming pretending to be a different anonymous poster, by sharing Mina's passport and saying, you mean this? Now, I don't know what the legalities of this are, but this is what originally enraged me. I just watched Mina's love stream and I seriously hate her. She talks like a retard child. Ooh woo, I look so little with my bangs. I wish Poppy Edwin was here. I'm gonna throw up. So Dasha actively follows someone she claims she seriously hates just to nitpick? The most ironic part about all this is that Dasha has always presented herself online as being positive towards women and being against cyberbullying. In fact, she recently posted a PSA on her Instagram story in which she says, you shouldn't be on the internet if you just use it to nitpick on human beings. Let people live their fucking lives. Okay, I have a PSA for you. Practice what you fucking preach. Did anyone watch Mina's live stream? The way she acts is so cringy and then she's dressed like Marie Antoinette. She also mentioned that she can't come back to America. In Mina's latest love stream, she said she still can't come to the US. I am pretty sure they made up that story. Okay, so if anyone's relatively new or, or missed out on this part, I am in a long distance relationship with Mina and she was visiting frequently and at one point she didn't have her return flight, which is very essential, especially when, when you visit frequently, they will flag you at, at the airport at customs, you know? So because she didn't have their return flight, on, on a, she was flying on an ESTA, which is like a visa waiver for the UK, and they sent her back because of that. We made a whole video about this and it was very serious matter, and now she's, she's claiming that we made up the story. We have absolutely nothing to gain from, from sharing the story that she got detained and sent back. That, that absolutely sucks. That's not something to joke about. It's, it, it was horrible. Turns out that some of the officers that detained her actually ended up becoming somewhat of fans of our videos and they emailed me and we made a video discussing it. And of course, Dasha had her own opinion about this as well. I personally think it's much worse that a TSA officer watches sexy Edwin and apologizes and maybe even helps Mina get into the States to also do the same thing as Dasha just to take pics. At least Dasha went to uni. Okay, that was a lot to take in. Now, for someone who claims to be writing their thesis on rhetoric since 2016, you sure do have a lot of logical fallacies in the way you write, Dasha. First of all, Customs and Border Patrol officers are not TSA officers, and just because they say they watch our videos and they enjoy them does not mean they apologize, okay? They probably can't even apologize technically because otherwise that would imply that they made some sort of mistake, which 
Once you send someone back, you can't really call that a mistake, I'm assuming. And just because they admit to watching your videos, how in the slightest does that implicate that they have the power to get Mina back into the country? Dasha, your slippery slope argument is based off of a horribly false assumption. At least Dasha went to uni. Oh yeah? Which one? And for how long? And exactly how is that relevant to your entire post? Are you implicating that because you went to uni and Mina didn't, you belong in the United States more than she does? So I visited Mina last August in London and we actually had a last minute meetup which went great. We connected with everybody that visited us, everybody except for one person. Dasha, yet yeah, she seems to remember meeting us, which is really weird. She went on to post, I met Mina and Edwin at their fan meetup in London and Mona looked crusty as hell. Not that skinny, horrible makeup, bad skin, and a wig that was tangled like there's no tomorrow. Dasha made up a lie saying that she met us at our meetup just so she could insult Mona. Am I the only one here who genuinely thinks that Edwin is worse than Seer? <laughs> I don't really have anything to add to this. I just think it's kind of funny to read what goes on in your head and how you try to get people to talk about me. I honestly prefer Dasha's body over Mina's body. Hmm, I don't know, that doesn't sound right to me. I feel like what you really meant to write was, I honestly prefer to make fun of Mina's body so I feel better about my own body. Yeah, that sounds more Dasha. Edwin literally acts like her lawyer. He always white knights her and speaks for her. I hate him. I think it's so funny how it still bothers you so much when you get me to defend her instead of her, no matter how much you poke and poke at her. The thing is, she doesn't care about you like you seem to care so much about her. And that's why I'm doing this video. I'm hoping to clear her name and reputation because you seem to be so dead set on trying to destroy something you can't have. Or I should say someone. I think one of us should start calling Edwin out on his bullshit. It'll be milk and drama, which would be fun. And since he's going to defend himself by accusing Dasha of something, we might stir up shit. This sounds like you're like trying to, to revive the drama, to, to get me to say something because I might defend myself by saying something about you and you might defend yourself then. So you want, you, it sounds like you're literally trying to keep the drama alive. You're trying to revive it. Come on guys, let's get something going. Someone shared a screenshot of one of Dasha's tweets and it says, you also have to remember neither Onision or Edwin stand up for me because I'm oh so abused. They make up a story to make Seer look bad. This isn't about abuse or concern. The story exists to make someone look bad. Now I noticed you posted this tweet five days before saying someone should call me out of my bullshit. So is this you calling me out of my bullshit saying that I made up the story because you were oh so abused? Nowhere in my story when I said that Seer slapped you in the face did I make it sound like you were a victim of this. In fact, I said that if he were to do it again, I'd be more worried for him because you're no one to mess around with, obviously. I gotta give you props though, you know, going as far as to say that I made up the story to make him look bad. I don't have to make up a story. There's a reason that guy keeps so private. It's because he does so many messed up things that he doesn't want people to know. And, and that's fine, but when you screw someone over, the dirty laundry's gonna come out, homeboy. I texted my friend about what happened the following day, but obviously I didn't have a camera running capturing the slap the moment it happened, you know? And if anything, I don't care if people don't believe me, but I do find it very concerning that you, Dasha, are trying to defend his actions and pretend it didn't happen. It's no secret that Dasha enjoys anti-Semitic humor. She's tweeted mind fear her and other Nazi positive things in the past. And even when I lived with her, she would always do the Nazi salute and speak German around the house. In fact, I even caught it in a vlog one time and someone brought it up. Hey. And she defended herself actually by saying, and her and Sierra danced to a Hitler music video on his stream as a joke. Get over it. It happened a long time ago and doesn't mean she's a Nazi or a racist. Look, I get it when people don't get your sense of humor. I get it. It's frustrating. However, when it's racist and you tell people to get over it because it happened a long time ago, that is usually not the best response to have, Dasha, especially because you would actually do those Nazi salutes and speak German phrases around Sam, Sears' old roommate who was Jewish, and he was very expressive about how uncomfortable it made him, and you didn't seem to respect that at all. You weren't even like uh, it, Sears' roommate or really like a girlfriend for a long time at all. You just really, really was testing your boundaries back then, and Sear didn't seem to tell you to stop, I guess, because you kept on, kept on doing it. You know, you kept doing your little Nazi salutes. And another thing that I want to point out real quick is that doing the Nazi salute is actually illegal in Germany and Austria, which is where Dasha's from. She says she's Austrian and German. So I don't know if you're getting off in the fact that you have freedom to do it in the United States or what, but I don't know. I'm just saying, try to be a little bit more sensitive towards people. Wait, hold on a sec. Didn't Edwin hook up with Mina when she was 20? Is that that legal? Now, the legal age is 18, so I'm not exactly sure what the purpose of your post is, but if I were to guess, I'd say that you're trying to turn complete strangers online in a gossip forum against me on the basis of what, that I'm a creep? 
because your very own boyfriend started dating Mina when she was 19, started dating you when you were 20. Also, I just wanna say that the word legal is not exactly one you should be trying to use against other people, considering you've been incessantly har harassing and cyber-stalking Mina, as well as posting explicit pictures of her without her consent, which again is a crime, and last but not least, you've overstayed your visa in this country. Someone brought up Dasha's legal status and she defended herself by saying, Edwin, a Mexican, tells her she should get deported. Wait, wait, hold on, let's, let's stop right there. Where did Edwin, a Mexican, say that you should get deported? Please, cite sources? Edwin claims she's illegal with no proof, which looks bad on his Mexican side. Now, I don't understand the whole Mexican, why you keep referencing me as a Mexican? Just be is it because I'm a Mexican and there's a lot of illegal Mexicans that I can't talk about people's legal statuses? Here's the thing, yes, I have in fact stated that you have overstayed your visa for over two years now, and sure, I don't have definitive proof, but I don't really need it. There is no such visa that lets you stay in the United States for as long as you have without checking into your home country. I mean, you claim that you were on a student visa writing your thesis on rhetoric, but again, what university are you going to in LA? Which one? You've never stated that because you aren't. Not a single day of us living together did I ever see you going to school or working in a thesis. And even if you were on a student visa, please let me know which student visa lets you stay in the States for over two years or which visa period did you get? In fact, I remember about five days before I left, you told me how you were talking to an immigration lawyer and you said to me, Edwin, she's supposed to be really good. She's one of your people. I said, my people? You said, yeah, because she's Mexican. And I mean, I don't think this is offensive. I don't think this is like really racist jokes. It's not really offensive, but I do find it memorable, especially coming from someone that while you're staying at the apartment calls you a side character and you'll be gone soon, you know? Like that's not something that I would forget. But you're right, I don't have definitive proof that you're here illegally. However, you know that you were very open about it with me Seer, his old roommate Sam, Mina, Lindsay. In fact, you even tried to get Mina to overstay her visa. You told her, it's not that bad. Then someone brought up how you tweeted and quickly deleted that even if you were illegal, California doesn't deport. It's a sanctuary, educate yourself. Now, I'm assuming that you deleted this tweet because maybe you educated yourself or somebody else educated you because otherwise, it's just awkward. Then Dasha responds to defend the now deleted tweet and says, she probably realized people would twist their words. In other news, no one knows if she actually is illegal or not. Because this is a very sensitive topic, I wanna be very clear that I am not anti-immigrant. However, when somebody comes to this country to take advantage of the opportunities and freedom that the, that the United States has to offer and commits crimes and abuses other people, then I'm sorry, but in my opinion, that's not the ideal immigrant. The immigrants that come here to work their asses off or just build a better future for themselves or their families, those immigrants I have absolutely no problem with. But to be honest, I also have absolutely no problem with Donald Trump calling the MS-13 gang members animals because those are actual gang members that illegally come to the United States to murder people. Definitely not the ideal immigrants for this country or any country. I know I will inevitably catch a lot of heat for even touching on this subject, but honestly, the logic is simple. If you go to any country, even if you're a citizen or not, just don't commit any crimes. Don't, don't mess with people. Just be a good person. Anyone notice how Mina did a Val Frey inspired look, considering Dasha shot for them many times? Wait, she did? Where? Mina never did a Val Frey inspired look? I even asked her about this because I couldn't find any sort of Val Frey inspired anything on Mina's social media. And Mina did let me know that she once did try to do a look inspired by an Instagrammer called Visible June, who was inspired by Val Frey, but she never did post it, which is why I was confused. So I have this question for you, Dasha. Did Visible June also copy you when she did her Val Frey inspired look? Have you even done a Val Frey inspired look or have you just shot for them many times and all of a sudden you're like entitled to everything Val Frey, a company that has 715,000 followers on Instagram? And apparently this was only the beginning of Dasha's new paranoia that Mina was copying her. There actually is proof Dasha provided with pictures. Type in Twitter, it's baby dash victimizing and there's a whole thread where Dasha shows how Mina also copies her with dates. She posted that way back when Mina started whining again about how Dasha is so creepy. Wait, so Dasha made an entire Twitter thread talking about how she was being victimized by Mina because Mina was copying you? Are you serious? What? I, I, look, I know you want so bad to believe that, that Mina keeps up with your social media and stuff, but she doesn't. And how weird that after people call you out for copying Mina, you are now accusing Mina of copying you. Basically, everything that you're accused of or that you do, you're throwing it back onto Mina. Just posted a new pic in the dress Dasha wore before her. Oh, I'm sorry, Dasha. Do you own the rights to that dress? Dasha, I know you're watching this and probably thinking, Edwin, this is not fair. When I was wearing the same clothes as Mina, you called me creepy. 
Why can't she be creepy too? I'm gonna try to explain this as simply as I possibly can. Now, the reason why it was creepy when you cut and dyed your hair like Mina's right before you flew her over, the reason why it was creepy when you dressed like her before she flew over, while she stayed with you and after she left, the reason why it was creepy when you continued to wear her clothes after you were no longer friends, the reason why all those things and other things you do are creepy is not because Mina owns a specific, a specific style. No, Mina never claimed to be like, I own the Mina X style. No, no, that's not what it is. The reason why all those things are creepy is because you openly said you were planning to destroy her before you flew her over, and while you flew her over while she stayed with you, you deleted her Instagram, you did all these things to sabotage her, and after she's left, you continue to trash talk her at every chance you get, and you're posting all these things about her. That's why these things are creepy. So let's talk about that dress that both Mina and Dasha wore. Okay, so when a clothing company wants to promote a certain fashion line, in this case, these dresses, they may often reach out to models or models may reach out to them saying, hey, let's collaborate, let's, let's promote that dress, you know? And if two models happen to both pick the color purple, it does not mean that they're copying each other. They just both happen to pick the same dress. In this specific instance, the company reached out to Mina and this is the first message that they sent her and this is the message where she requested the purple dress. Now, if you happen to request a purple dress before that or you happened to post a picture before that we do not know about it because believe it or not i know this might be a very hard pill for you to swallow but we do not keep up with your social media dasha there's actually a lot of proof mina copies dasha as much whoa hold on a second as much as what as much as dasha copies her are you implicating admission to you copying mina Hey girl, watch your wording there. And Dasha also wore this ugly coat before her. <laughs> I like how you're calling your own coat ugly. I'm not saying Dasha's super original, just showing you that Mina is just as stupid. Again, comparing yourself like to Mina and saying you're both stupid, Damn, girl, you're really trying extra hard to make yourself sound anonymous by insulting yourself here, huh? And again, here's a screenshot of Elsie and Fred reaching out to Mina and Mina requesting the orange coat on January 15th. I could not find any sort of picture of Dasha wearing the coat before that date. So again, you victimizing yourself and claiming that Mina is copying you it is like such a reach. It's almost like you want her to copy you. You're, you're looking for these examples. You're looking for trouble where there is none. Dasha took a screenshot from one of Mina's Instagram stories and says, no one is snapping at the ugly outfit. Proves Mina Mina can't ever be herself. Now she even copies her new friends. So Mina found this dress at, at a thrift shop and she got it and she really enjoyed it. And because some of Mina's friends wear dresses, now she's copying them too. I really can't understand the logic behind this. I guess if any of you become friends with me after watching this video and you ever dare wear a purple shirt, you are copying me, bitch. <laughs> I'm kidding by the way, even if we're not friends and you happen to be influenced by my style for whatever reason, I don't consider that copying. In fact, if Mina was influenced by her friends to wear dresses more, that's good for her. In fact, I, the only thing I find weird is that Dasha of all people is judging when every single time she takes a picture with one of her friends, she not only poses like them, but oftentimes she dresses or, or tries to look exactly like them. Let's have a look. I remember Dasha talking about wanting to film lookbooks, then Mina did it. I think the reason she won't upload is because people will assume she copied Mina again. Dasha, I remember you talking about making YouTube videos since 2016 and you would always say, I just don't know what I should make videos about. And Mina did not make her YouTube channel until September 19th, 2017. And her video is not really technically a lookbook. It's literally one look and we learned that lookbooks are supposed to be more than one look. And everybody, every girl on YouTube has done a lookbook. So really because of that, you're afraid that people are gonna say you copied her? Why did it take you so long to do a YouTube video anyway? You've been talking about it for so long. The only time you ever pitched her a video idea that she would know, and by the way, the only reason she did that lookbook is because people suggested that. So we're like, okay, yeah, let's try to do a lookbook, which we obviously failed. But anyways, back to what I was saying. The only video idea you ever pitched Mina was when you were playing the song Passive her by Melanie Martinez and you were saying listen to the words of this and you started crying and Mina was confused and then she started listening to the words tired blue boy walks my way holding a girl's hand that basic bitch leaves finally now I can take her man someone told me to stay away from things that aren't yours but was he yours if he wanted me so bad those are the lyrics to the song that you played for Mina and you said doesn't this relate to us so much and she was so shocked and just crying and you were also crying and it was really strange she says and you said that we should make a video about this and, and film it in West Hollywood where serious to live and you could talk about how you felt uh oh someone dared question the validity of Dasha's excuse for deleting Mina's Instagram three times they said they don't believe the fake accounts that supposedly harassed Dasha are actually Mina's 
This is not gonna go well. Well, I'm pretty sure we all know that those accounts are Mina's, but what was the proof that they are hers again? <gasps> Nobody's answering her. Then she replies to herself and says, why don't we ask hentai guy? I'm pretty sure he has a lot of proof. Now hentai guy, that's the guy that I originally blocked and he originally brought to my attention that this forum still existed. Basically Dasha's right hand man against Mina. Someone said that they didn't believe the accounts were Mina's or that she's anorexic to which Dasha says, you sound like one of her fans. It seems to me you haven't read the past threats. It's been proven that Mina's behind those accounts. You don't have to white knight her. Come back when you read all the past threads that provide proof. And yes, Mina is in fact anorexic and anorexic people do look like her. Basically, anyone who disagrees with Dasha is a Mina fan and she is dead set on making people believe that Mina is anorexic. Those fan accounts are posted from Wimbledon. Mina said before that she's from there. Dasha has her address and also confirmed that that is where Mina is from. Okay, first of all, where? Just get comfortable with the fact that Mina makes her own fan accounts because no one likes her. That's what you want people to believe. So people should get comfortable with the fact that you made 142 posts on an anonymous gossip thread because blank? All of viewers decide. I remember zooming out on the location post and it was Wimbledon. Oh, how convenient. You remember zooming into the pictures geotag on Instagram. Let me see if I can do the same thing on one of my pictures. Whoa, I'm in Wimbledon? Hold on a second. There's still cacti outside. Oh man, I'm still in Arizona. You mean just because I edit the picture on my Instagram, it doesn't mean I'm actually there? Aww. Anyways, I know the fake account agenda is the one thing that Dasha loves to obsess over and if she still has you convinced that Mina's behind those accounts, then that's fine. I'm not interested in trying to convince you. I already know how bad I felt after she created doubt in me myself. I practically interrogated Mina and, and she did not even know about the fake accounts until she saw Dasha post about them. Dasha likes to say that she got Mina to confess to the fake accounts one night, but that's absolutely untrue. The only thing she got Mina to confess to was the fact that Mina was posting curious cat questions, like an anonymous Q&A thing, and she was answering some questions about Dasha, and she wasn't like being upfront about it, which, it wasn't even when they were friends, so why should that even matter? But again, if you still wanna believe Dasha on this, then I don't care. I'm not interested in trying to convince anybody. I'm just trying to show you how time and time again, Dasha's trying to have this agenda that fake accounts, fake accounts, like she just doesn't shut up about it. Because she knows it's the one thing that we can't definitively prove. She's obsessed with wanting Mina to own up about the fake accounts when she's never owned up to wearing Mina's clothes, deleting Mina's tweets, deleting Mina's Vine. You admitted to deleting Mina's Instagram once, but what about the two other times? And you also never admitted to convincing Seer to use a bullshit brother who told me to kick everybody out story. Sure, there's a video of you admitting to it, but that was leaked. And I told him, yes, I'm fucking, I'm going to actually get you kicked out. I said that to him. I'm owning up to that. I told him that I'd ruin his life because I would if he takes a fucking British cunt, I'm sorry, over his best friend. He's absolutely right. I stood there smiling. I stood there smiling. I'm pretty sure if that video had never leaked, you would have never confessed to being the reason I was kicked out, to smiling as I was being kicked out, or to threatening to ruin my life. Which by the way, you didn't really ruin my life, you only ruined a good chunk of my last year and a friendship, but that's not the point. The point is, quit your fucking holier than thou attitude, and once again I drop you with my PSA, practice what you fucking preach. Yes, we've been over this a million times, Dasha is a cunt. <laughs> what? Mina is not an Instagram model since half of her following is from apps. Huh. Mina does not use apps, but that is a clever accusation considering you're the one that told her to use apps for more followers as well as to post pictures with Seer so she could get some of his following. Do you remember that? Now people have told me that you use apps for followers and likes and I've even seen screenshots, but I don't really care. I don't care what people do on Instagram, but I know for a fact that my girlfriend does not use apps for followers because I've been next to her. I've seen her post pictures. I've seen the likes go up and down, whatever. I've seen it all. And in fact, the only way you could technically prove this, I guess, is if you want to compare your insight with hers. Honestly, the whole arguing about Instagram crap just absolutely bores me. And the only reason why I even highlighted this comment is because of this part. Not to forget, Mina didn't get a following for having such a good style. She got it from Seer and Dasha. So once again, she's back on her bullshit. And this is actually the best part of the comment. Lol, Edwin is still stuck at 21.1k. El Mayo, he didn't even grow at all. Neither did Seer. Well, at least she's also insulting her own boyfriend. But guys, I guess this is, might be a good spot to just promote myself. Please follow me on Instagram so Dasha doesn't make fun of me on an anonymous forum. Back when Dasha used to go through Mina's phone when she deleted Mina's Instagram three separate times, deleted her Vine, deleted random tweets, go through her messages, she also took the liberty of doing the most disgusting thing of, of all, in my opinion. She airdropped random pictures that Mina has never posted online or shared anywhere and airdropped them to her own phone. 
These are two pictures Mina calls outtakes because she never posted them online and never meant for them to be posted online. And Dasha uses them to say that Mina is not the fairest of beauties. Keep in mind, this is also after Dasha has already edited these pictures. She's edited Mina's nose and jaw. Now this is not the first time Dasha has posted weirdly edited pictures of Mina online. Last year, Dasha posted screen caps from Mina's Instagram that was then deleted for over a month already, but she, she edited the picture screen caps to make her look hyper skinny. She wanted people to believe that Mina purposely edited herself to look skeletal. And even then, Dasha was posting pictures from Mina's phone that Mina had never shared before. However, these pictures were outtakes from pictures that Mina did post onto Twitter, and she showed the comparison of how Dasha made her look thicker to show that she was editing herself to be skeletal, even though she's actually thicker. It, it was a very confusing and strange thing. This is another picture that Mina has never posted online or shared with anyone at all. She's naked in this. This is a crime. How many pictures of Mina do you have? And, and why? Why after a year and a half of not communicating with her, do you still have pictures of her? Seriously, this is not normal. And posting explicit pictures of somebody else without their consent is illegal. I shouldn't have to say this. Then of course you reply to yourself just to say that Mina looks ugly as fuck. A photographer once called out Dasha for bailing on a professional photo shoot and Dasha still somehow found a way to both victimize herself and sound spiteful as hell. I hired ex-baby Fox for a paid shoot with an international company. She ignored my many texts and calls the morning of the shoot and then decided to post selfies on her Instagram story with phone in hand in front of mirror. Even the her, saw that she read the message and still ignored me. Dasha then blocked the photographer and then changed her username, which is very clever, probably to avoid anyone who follows a photographer to see who the photographer was talking about. But the photographer's not dumb, so she also made sure she posted a screenshot of the profile name that Dasha switched to. Eventually, Dasha switched back usernames and posted a response in which she said, you are a model, and if you're ever being harassed or slandered by a supposedly professional photographer, speak out about it and warn fellow models. Don't ever stay silent and don't be scared. So her side of the story is that the photographer was harassing her for saying that Dasha ignored her text on, on the day of a professional photo shoot. Uh, okay, girl, and also that part about worn fellow models, she's basically saying, I don't want people to work with this photographer because she slandered my name. And this is why people don't like to publicly speak out against Dasha because she will come at you at full force. But people have come to Mina and I and they have told us their experiences with them and I have the receipts and I'm sorry to say that they will be in part two. I decided to make this video into two parts because that way I can upload it as soon as I can, as soon as possible. And honestly, I can barely stand to listen to myself speak so intensely and at times angry for 25 minutes, let alone 50 minutes. So I figured it'd be a better viewing experience to cut it in half, especially because it's kind of a lot of information to process, you know, especially in one sitting. I know if Dasha decides to reply, of course she's gonna be like, oh, he's milking it, making it two videos. Oh, and it's got ads. Oh my God, he just wants to make money. Just because this video is based on drama that you cause, as opposed to say like a comedy or commentary video I would regularly do, why would I discriminate against putting ads on it or not? You know, nobody died. And if I didn't consistently keep hearing about you talking shit about Mina, then hell no, I wouldn't be making this video. I should also note that since I announced this video, Dasha has deactivated her Twitter and she's announced that she's going to a therapist because she's depressed. Now, I am just hoping for the obvious that please don't use mental illness as an excuse. I'm sure she'll stay silent for a little while and when she does decide to address anything from my videos, it'll probably be something so petty and small like, oh, fake accounts. Please bear with me guys. This video did take up a lot of my time and prevented me from my regular routine. So, so I'm sorry that I had to be so dramatic and intense. As soon as we're done with this and, and the finale, the part two, then we can hopefully go back to making poppy videos or whatever the hell I feel like. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up guys. I really, really appreciate the support and, and so does Mina and I'll have the next video up for you guys, the grand finale, in the next couple days. I'll see you then.